When you hear the words green chemistry, do you think about children's safety or public health? If you don't, you should. Green chemistry refers to all of the efforts to try to make sure that the products that we use are safe. Products like cosmetics that we apply, things that we use in our home, uh, something as simple as a little rubber ducky that a child uses. All these are made of chemicals, all these are made of different components, and the goal of green chemistry is to make sure that the things that go into those products are safe so that when we use them, we're safe too. In the process of, uh, of, of grappling with uh, 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 green chemistry. Assembly members Dave Jones and Wesley Chesbro chaired the joint informational hearing of the Health and Environmental Safety and Toxic Materials Committees on the implementation of the so-called Green Chemistry Initiative. Reducing toxics at the, at the manufacturing level. AB 1879 by Assembly Member Mike Fuhrer was signed into law last year and is a major component of the initiative. It gives for the first time California officials the authority to make science-based decisions about what are the most dangerous chemicals in our society? Are there alternatives to using those dangerous chemicals? And with that information, how should we regulate the use of these chemicals? For the last century, environmental protection has concentrated on capturing and storing hazardous waste. Under AB 1879, the goal will be to identify, prioritize, evaluate, and regulate potential toxic materials. That's what the Green Chemistry Initiative is all about. It's a different approach. Uh, we do have laws that are aimed at protecting the public, uh, but they're uh, usually focused on trying to solve a problem after the fact by trying to clean up uh, the messes that we make. And green chemistry is really a preventative approach to try to move upstream, to try to come up with better ways of doing things so we put fewer toxic chemicals into the environment and thus a public health and the environment are protected. About a year and a half ago, many of the world's leading scientists convened to discuss the issue of toxics. And they came up with this, that children in the womb are pre-programmed to get cancer and diabetes and other serious illnesses and they said you can never unprogram them and the reason for this is their moms are exposed to toxics every day. This is not an abstract issue, this question. We can break the link as policymakers between toxics and cancer if we focus on constructive legislative change. It's too easy to think of these issues as abstractions until one of your loved ones gets really sick. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.